Hello everybody. Welcome. Um, my particular wheel head does not have bat pins. Probably most of you who watch who watch me uh, all have wheels that have bat pins to take these kind of bats, whether they be whether they be plastic bats like this. Um, incidentally, incidentally, if you do use these plastic bats of this type, you will find that trying to locate the the bat onto the bat pins is a bit of a pain. <laughs> Does anybody experience that? I certainly have. In which case, just to make it a little bit easier, what you can do, and what I've done, um, where the where the these these holes are, well there's only two in fact. Well, you know, you could you could use these other ones and these other ones as well. But what I've done is simply where it fits on my my other wheels, my Shimpo wheels, or wheels with Shimpo wheel heads. Uh, just take a drill and drill right the way through. You see, with your plastic bat, that'll make it a little bit easier. So that when you come to try to align your these holes with the pins that stick up, you can you'll find it's just a little bit easier to do. Anyway. That's not what I really wanted to talk about. What I was going to show you is basically in this clip how how to uh, throw a bat pad that will take a regular bat like this. Now this is a bat that does have bat pins as well, okay? But as I've got no bat pins on this wheel head, I'm going to have to throw a pad, okay? So without further ado let's get a bit of warm water because it's like freezing otherwise yeah always good keep a jug of warm water by your by your stove so yeah what have I got here some some tools a chamois I'm well, not that I'm going to need the chamois to do this but um, Yeah, it's good to be back in the clay, isn't it? I've been out there doing some glazing and decorating and all that kind of thing. So it's good to get into the clay again. Okay, so to, to throw a bat pad, I would say one pound of clay is going to be fine. Okay, how are we doing? Are we in the picture? Yeah. Well, I was just going to make this a short clip, okay? If this is... A short clip, Simon. That sounds good. <laughs> right. When I used to work for my dad at the Lower Down Pottery in Bobby Tracy, England, David Leach, uh, none of the wheels in, in the pottery had bat pins, not one. So we were any time that we wanted to throw anything on a bat, or you had to throw throw down a pad first. Okay, so just basically center, and then uh, cone up and center down. And as you center down, sort of begin to just flatten it out a bit like that. You see, and now. Basically what you do is just take that clay and feed it out to the to the edge of the wheel head, you see. You don't want to make it so so that it's it's higher 
here in the middle than it is on the edges, okay? So this will rock. You don't want to just make sure you don't you don't do that. And if it's a, a fraction lower in the middle there, well, I should say it's probably best if it's flat rather than it's dipping in the middle, but. bring this in a touch, just a touch closer, okay, so, so just bear in mind your, your bat, the width of your bat in relation to this. Now I'm just going to just skim that off. Then what I do is I take the I take the corner of my throwing stick and I simply put a couple of grooves, one and two, like that. Take the stick again and just go down through the middle like that and like that. Why are we doing that? Basically to let a bit of let a bit of air in underneath here all right because you can you will find that if you use bat pad a bat pad like this with a bat that when you come to wanting to get it off the wheel head it can stick a bit all right so we're just going to simply just drop that on there and now I'm going to just tap center that Okay, I'm eyeballing it here, or on the edge here, to see that it's 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 not going off center. That it's that's the way to tell. Put some a stationary object, you see, and then you'll see whether it's it's on center or not. When you think it's you've got it on center, just start just tapping the center first, like this, and that should. What you also want to do is, 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 is check that it's not only on centre this way, but that it's also, it's not going around and kind of going like this, you see, as it's going around. So you want to hold your finger, if you can feel it touching your, your finger all the way around as it's, as it's rotating, that's what you want. If it's just touching your finger intermittently, then you need to establish where it's touching it intermittently and give it a tap, you see, at that point. And maybe, because where it's raised up here, that's where you're going to want to hit it, all right? Well, that's touching my finger nicely all the way around. So it's, it's centered in the in the uh, in the vertical sense and it's also centered in the horizontal sense okay that's what you want we're now ready to take a lump of clay all right throw it down on there and make our pot now when you come to when you've made your your piece now i don't recommend using bats for, let's just pull back that camera. I don't recommend using bats for, it's only really you want to use bats for items that you're throwing on the wheel that are difficult to get off, that you're not able in the ordinary sense just to lift them off. You, you are obligated to, to lift the whole bat off with the piece. Okay, so, 
Um, yeah, so it might be helpful to have something. I don't recommend a wooden throwing stick like this because when you come to want to lift this off, you want to put something in underneath here, you see, between the wheel head and the bat. And you want to use that as a bit of a lever, leverage to be able to get that off. Because it can be a bit sticky, stuck down. It can stick down uh, quite well. All right. Hey folks, it's just a quick tip then. I hope that's of use to you. Probably you might think, oh well Simon, that's not much good to us. We've all got bat pins. <laughs> But one day maybe you'll find that you don't have bat pins and then you might find that this is a useful, a useful, useful to know how to do, you see. Um, so have a go at doing it and um, tap centre, centralise up a bat onto, a, onto, the, onto the pad. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, please go to my website. I am going to be shortly demonstrating, where is it, where's that tool, uh, I haven't got it here, but remember I was talking about, I was going to make a pot to demonstrate these kind of strapped, what I call a strap trim tool, um, I've got some on my website, these are ones I just did with duct tape. I've got some nicer ones with rubber, heat shrink, everything there. And you will, I think you'll, there was a time when I did offer these and everybody wanted them and then I didn't have any yet. But they're basically, um, they're great for trimming larger surface areas of pots. For example, the bases of plates or the sides of of, or, of pots where, where a, 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 more, a broader amount of clay you want to, to remove. You see, if you use a normal trim tool, it's, got, it's, only, it's only so, so wide, isn't it, the cutting edge. Um, whereas this has got a cutting edge that is all down there. So you don't get the sort of like digging in on one end of the tool, you know, and leaving a kind of line going all the way around. This will, this um, facilitates removal of clay uh, in such a way that you don't get, you don't get those lines. And you can, it's actually a great tool to hold like this. It's quite sturdy. And anyway, they're on my website. You can go there, check them out. Although people are writing to me saying, Simon, what is this? How do we, how do you use that? Please, can you demonstrate? So, well, I'm going to make something here and then we're going to trim it so, so people can see. If you don't, still don't understand, well, tune in to see that video. Okay. Hey, that's it. Uh, yeah. Keep practicing. See you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah.